Well, hello, it's Brian here from QuantLabs.net. This week is now today, May 16th, leading into, in Canada here, a very long weekend. And I gotta say, this week has been one of the most pivotal, 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 in a week. Oh, in the longest time. I'm just babbling. Because I'm just physically tired from the amount of work I've been doing. But anyways, let me just show you what we've been posting. Okay, this one up uh, this morning. This guy right here discovered the intro to the Bloomberg Terminal Professional API and Emulator. Watch this video. This will blow your mind because I think emu uh, Bloomberg has the best data possible, and just the the editor or sorry, the terminal itself will give you trading edge. Next up. Ooh, this is a very powerful feature I've been longing for the longest time with uh, MATLAB, the production server with a .NET uh, C Sharp front end or client. So we got that, that working. That's a really big deal from my perspective. Um, that might be, uh, I'll consider it a game changer. And then one last thing. Of course, I went on about the MuPad as a symbolic editor and uh, being able to convert it using uh, the MATLAB capabilities to convert into MATLAB M scripts and therefore converting, co-generating into C or C++, or even a step further, uh, taking that same MATLAB function and deploying it as a independent uh, M function and deploying or implementing it into a, a systematic model that is housed within Simulink. Very powerful stuff, all three of these. Very, very powerful. And again, we've only introduced this in the last week. But uh, this could change things. Okay, so that brings me to one thing I have not publicly shared. So let's move on. Now, for those that have been following me, we have a strategy from Deutsche Bank that I've been trying to implement. Um, if you haven't seen this, let me just pull her up. The magic of the internet. Um, so here is this strategy. Blah, 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 and lots of questions come out of it. Now, this is where you guys come in. You see all these daunting algorithms? This thing here, this notation? I gotta say this. This all looks Greek to me. <laughs> Sorry, I just say that. I just uh, had to put it out there. But these are Greek symbols. This is notation for algorithms for newbies. Are these uh, complex? Yes, they are. But there's four pages of them. Guess what? I've got a bunch of questions uh, up until, well, up to theory three, okay? So I've not included three, four, as here, or five. Only the first three theories. So I've got questions. Now, if you have not seen my so-called, I call it a fireside chat with Ernie Chan, uh, who has come back with some answers, uh, as you can see here, um, and it's been very helpful, helps me uh, get a much better handle on, on where to go to code this up. And uh, I thought I'd come to you guys and gals and see if you can help me out with the same questions. So I'm not going to be around for a couple of days, yay, i got to rest my head and see if you can help me out uh, figuring all this wunderbar stuff. So here's the PDF. Okay. Um, and I'll let you get access to some of the answers from Ernie, Ernie Chan, Dr. Ernie Chan. That was posted earlier this morning. And uh, hopefully, combined with everything, we can maybe come out with some better answers on, on these questions. But let, let, let me just walk you through what we're going through here. So as I said, we got ourselves a strategy I just showed you. Um, what I've done is, this is part of my workflow that I've already introduced to people, or should have been introduced to. This right here, the, the red and the blue, 
is uh, the MuPad editor or the notebook. So this is my code here, or how I interpret something like this. And the blue is the response from the MuPad. And then of course I generate a function from it, a MATLAB M function. So obviously Ernie's uh, made some comments, but I'm trying to verify some of this stuff. So let me know what you think by commenting either on my forum or on my uh, blog post that I'm going to put. I'll put all links in, in the YouTube video here. But uh, one last thing, at the end of this PDF, you'll see how I created uh, the, the MuPad, or how I transitioned from the MuPad notebook editor, convert that MuPad file, note, notebook file, into a MATLAB function. So I have all the command history here uh, through the, the MATLAB command prompt session. So I have all that. And then, of course, all my detailed questions. And let me know what you think with Mr. Ernie Chan as well. Again, I'll put all the uh, links so you can comment away and have, offer some feedback. Hell, why don't you even let me know via Twitter or Facebook or LinkedIn or even make a YouTube video? Why not? Got a couple of days. Let me know. I really want to bang this out because once I bring it all together, I'll be able to repost this whole thing to everybody and turn it into another SourceForge open source project, which will walk you through the entire process with the MuPad file, this MuPad M MN file that I showed you uh, down here, which is part of this MuPad, as well as how to convert everything and transition from a MuPad file or variable into a, uh, into a MATLAB workspace, and then from there be able to take a uh, uh, create a uh, MATLAB M function. Okay, so hopefully this will help you out. Answer away, it'd be really appreciated. And um, have a good one. If I don't talk to you soon, later. Bye bye. Au revoir. Au revoir. Soy Aurora.